Hi there, I'm Emily Brace. I am a buyer specialist with the Stern team. Today we are going to be talking about what happens if interest rates fluctuate once you've been pre-approved for your loan. So as you've heard in the news, as you may have seen yourself as you are getting started with your home buying process, the Federal Reserve has increased rates multiple times since 2022, and rates will probably continue to fluctuate throughout 2023. This means if you're in the process of buying a home, the rate that your lender quoted you initially could increase sometime in the future. So what happens if the rates increase after you've already been pre-approved, and is there any way to protect yourself? So first, it is essential to assume that your rate will be higher than what you were quoted. While you may have a specific rate in mind during the pre-approval process, market fluctuations and other factors can affect the final rate that you receive. So it's critical to budget accordingly and also be prepared to adjust your plans accordingly. The second is that in a rising market like this, it's critical to lock in that mortgage rate as soon as you possibly can. So a rate lock happens once you are under contract. Um, once that rate is locked in, it won't fluctuate if rates rise. Um, and the rate is usually good to be locked in for 60 to 90 days. Finally, you can ask your lender if they provide float down options. Float down options prevent your rates from rising, so it locks it in at a current rate, but if rates drop, it allows to you to get that lower rate once you're under contract. This can be a beneficial option to you if you're concerned about market volatility, and to ensure that you get the absolute best mortgage rate possible. By keeping these three points in mind, you can navigate the mortgage rate process with confidence and get the best possible rate for your home purchase. Contact us today to learn more about our mortgage services and how we can help you with your home buying goals.